the Art Visual Award presentation. And he is ready, his shirt is pressed, and his vest and his sh is tucked right in. Um, the Art Visual Award is bestowed upon an individual who has elevated their art, who has shared the depth of their talents for others to see, and who have inspired many. Uh, the recipient is my friend from Muskaganish. And I sat in his workshop today and he spoke about the different mediums of, of art that he does. And I challenged him, I said, I'm gonna challenge you because you're a little bit more than what you say you do. But you're, you're a storyteller and you tell a story. And if you've talked to Tim and you've listened to his stories, he tells a story, but not just a story. But the best part of his story of how the story is told. It's told with so much love and it's told with so much compassion. And he is one of the few beautiful men that we have within our communities. Right over here, my buddy Tim. <clears throat> On a cold night, he was born in 19... <laughs> He came out a little ill, but after years and years of, of taking care of my friend, he ended up in Waskaganish where he fell in love. When he was a young guy, his parents noticed that he loved to draw. And he would sit there with his Crayola crayons, and he would fall asleep with a crayon in his hand. Nurtured and encouraged by his parents, and essentially being free in what he can do and what he can accomplish, he went into the field of art. He discovered painting at 17, but he didn't pursue it full time until he was in his 20s. For the most of his life, Tim felt self-taught, but at 28, he studied fine arts at Cambrian College in Sudbury, Ontario, and he says, you're never too old to go to school, but he was just 28, he's still young. Uh, for him, it was a time of self-discovery and learning, and when I sat at his workshop today, he told so many stories of those good times in school. Uh, Tim works in all mediums, still prefers painting and acrylic, but still maintains his love of drawing. Today, Tim is busy as ever. He created countless works, produced many murals and numerous logos for companies and entities here in the Cree Nation. His works of art have been placed in schools and all the head offices of the Grand Council and have been commissioned as gifts for very important dignitaries, like myself. It'd be nice to one day get a Tim gift. It really would. Hint, hint. Uh, each project is very important to Tim. And he says to live free and to be open-minded because no one holds all the answers. And that's how we learn, listen well, and respect all walks of life. Each project holds special place in his heart. For Tim, inspiration comes from the land. It comes from his late father, who he loved dearly, Harry Whiskey Jan, who was a fine craftsman himself. It comes from what's all around him. Timmy has truly been blessed to his wonderful gift, and we are fortunate that Timmy still continues his art today and shares the art with each and every one of us in the next generation. My friends, Timmy Whiskey Jan. Wow. Yes, I'm a storyteller. My dad was a storyteller. That's why I am today who he taught me who I am today. And I'd like to thank the Academy. Whoops, wrong speech. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would throw that one in. My father had a great sense of humor, too. So I kind of passed it down on that. As Crees, we always like to have fun. For me, art was a great journey. I never stopped learning. I still today, I learn, I observe. Many of you have a lot of nice thoughts. You share your ideas to me, and I paint them. 
I draw them. I get inspired from children to elders. I always tell the young students that I teach, don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Try it. It won't hurt. It may taste bad if you eat the paint. But I don't encourage them to eat the paint. But to believe in them themselves, like I always did. My father always told me that. Believe in yourself, son. You never know someday. And he used to say, you'll see someday, son. Someday. And when I think about his words, I travel the world now. Just a little story. I went to France. I stood where planes of the, where Champlain sailed off to meet us. I stood there. I thought. I saw some artists painting. I observed them. Then this child says, where are the Indians? Où est-ce que sont les Indiens? And I was standing like this. I look at the boy. I am an Indian. He looks at me. You're not an Indian. You don't have no hair. <laughs> then I told the young boy, Indian is in the heart. And I told him a little bit of the story. It was amazing. I thought about my father when I was traveling to Europe. I kept his words and then showed. I traveled because of what I believed in, what he said to me. Today, it's not the ending. I always tell people, one time this question popped up when I was in France. What do you think about the musée? And I said, someday, Tim Wiske Chan is going to be in Paris, in the art gallery. Let's hope it doesn't happen when I pass away. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, I'd like to thank Kanaka and all the staff that took part to make this possible. All the beautiful things around us. We have a rich culture, a very rich culture, and I'm part of it, and I'm proud to be Cree. My hands, May watch me see it now. Merci beaucoup, tout le monde. Can translate? <laughs> Thank you. Steve, may watch.